So today I'm going to be transforming my basement into a movie theater. Now as you can see we already have like the base of it done because me and my mom have been working on this for like the past like two to three years. It's been a project of ours for a long time. Like I'm trying to build like a whole concession stand right here like something straight out of like a high school football game you feel me. And today I'm trying to like fully finish it and like make it perfect. Get like movie posters like LED lights everything like that. And you know me man I might as well document it. Alright, so the first thing we did was the drinks and like the mini fridge and stuff like that. I didn't buy a new one because we have like three of the exact same mini fridges in our house. So all I had to do was like get one and put it in the basement. But at Walmart, I'm not gonna lie, I bought like hella drinks. I bought like Arizona. Arizona Fruit Punch cocktail is actually my favorite drink of all time. But we also got like Capri Suns and like Welch's something and like Gatorades and stuff like that. But in the end, it came out perfectly. I ain't gonna lie, bro. So the next thing we do is the snacks and like the little candy things and stuff like that. I'm not gonna lie, I do not like candy at all. Like candy actually like makes my teeth hurt. I also have these like little white basket things that help like prop up the things, like the candy boxes. So it makes it look really like, you know what I'm saying? Like more of like a concession stand. And we already have like a popcorn machine, so I just bought the popcorn like kernels, like the seeds, and put them on the side. But I'm not gonna lie, we rarely use the popcorn machine because it's like takes so long to clean and stuff like that. So like, but it still looks fire, like you can't get me wrong, like this is literally fire. So for the decoration, we kept it pretty basic and simple. I had this like little like LED sign that says the word snacks on it. Me personally, I think it looks fire, but my mom Loki was being a hater. She said she didn't like it. She said it was like doing too much. But you know it is what it is. You can't win them all. You can't make everyone happy. That's kind of tough. So right by the screen, we have like this little like thing that holds up like the thing for the projector and like it's looking mad empty, it's, like nothing on top of it. So I got like these two little like decorations, like this little like black like film thing. You know, it was pretty cheap, some slight, nothing crazy at all, honestly. So near like the staircase, I got these two little things. It's like one of them is just like an exit sign that says exit this way where you walk down the stairs and the other one is just like a little cinema thing. And we already had like the nails in it from other decoration we had previously, but we didn't really like it, I ain't gonna lie. But I thought these two fit way better than the other one. So in our basement, we have like this little exit thing. But like if we're gonna be watching movies in the basement, we're gonna need like the curtain to cover the glass. So like the sun won't get in. My mom bought this curtain like I think like seven years ago. It's really old. But it's kind of nostalgic though because I remember having it in my old room back when I was like 10 years old, bro. So yeah, this didn't take long at all. It took us like maybe like literally two minutes. As long as it covers the, like, the glass, we'll be fine. So before we added the rugs like on like the couch area and stuff like that, we obviously needed to clean it because it was kind of, it was really dirty, I ain't gonna lie. Like we haven't cleaned the basement like as a whole since like 1994. But, but like it doesn't get that dirty because no one really bees in the basement because the only person who really uses the basement is me and my sister because I watch anime in the basement because like the view and like it's better for reading like subtitles because I watch anime and sub. Yo, drop y'all favorite anime in the comment section down below. I need some new anime to watch, bro. So yeah, this rug is pretty old as well. I didn't want to waste money on things that we already had. So I got this rug from like my mom's closet. She has like a bunch of rugs in her closet. 
that just like collect dust. And honestly, I, th I think it fit well, like the color matches and everything like that. So this next rug that I got, I actually bought something super slight, nothing crazy at all. To be honest, I don't know how I felt about it. It felt a little forced to put it there, but you know, it is what it is. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. So the next thing I wanted to do was actually soundproof the room and I did some research and the cheapest way to do it is like install something called a door sweep and an indoor weather seal. You need to cut your nails, bro. And essentially what they both do is like when you close the door, like it fully closes off and like nothing, like no sound comes through. Like literally them combined costed like $10. It was literally that cheap. So we ended up not putting the door sweep on because my mom was like against it because we have to put like screws in the door and she wanted to keep the door like clean. So we ended up just not doing it. Yo, hi Q, let's just not put it on bro, let's not put it on. So the next step was to put on these Govi LED strip lights. Yo, it looks so weird with the thing off bro. Low key, it took us like like 30 minutes to figure out where to put it on, but then I had this genius idea to put it behind the projector. So you can add these like cool effects around the screen and it would like make watching like the action packed moments will make it look so much cleaner and stuff like that. And I ain't gonna lie, this is my favorite addition to the movie theater, bro, because it's just so clean, bro. thing about these LED lights is you can actually control them like through your phone and like, there's so many settings you can put them on like there's like at least a hundred settings you can put them on like and it's just so fire bro so for the posters I only got two of them because I don't want to like overdo them and I got like one of like of the movie ET and back to the future and like back to the future is my mother's favorite favorite movie of all time like she loves that movie like we watched it like together like at least three times so you know I had to hook her up with that one Yo, if you're still watching this video, go comment like apple juice in the comments to confuse people. Also, rate my basement 1 through 10 in the comment section because me personally, this is low-key a 10 out of 10 basement. Like, like this movie theater is so clean. I'm glad I did this video for real. Hexagon Pros and bro, basically, this thing, I know I said the lights on the projector was my favorite thing, but I ain't gonna lie, this one is way better. Bro, it literally, bro, the colors on it is so fire and it adds like that warm color to like the room. It's like, you know, like I don't even have to have the lights on in the room. All I have to do is turn this on and I'll be fine. And it has like a way better color. You feel what I'm saying? And it's the same thing with the other one, like you can control it through the app, like, and it has like so many different settings and stuff like that. But I ain't gonna lie, this joint took us like an hour and a half to build because it was it was like kind of complicated to figure out. But once we got the hang of it, like it was like easy from there. But this is my favorite addition to the room. I ain't gonna lie, bro. If you like these LED lights, just search up like Govi Glide on Google, bro. I promise you they'll get you right, bro. I love these LED lights so much.